go ahead. However you guys want to do it. I'm not editing it. Don't worry. Focus on me or what? <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? This is Kevin. Kevin Clay. He's uh, one of my customers. The kindest person for no reason. Uh, always there to help you um, answer questions and people like myself. His legacy will live on no matter what. Through us, through his family, through these gens here. It's forever. What's up everybody? It's your boy Kevin Smiley and welcome back to Kevin R82 TV, your positive co-culture channel. Today, as you can tell on the title, is another episode in my video series for Dustin Davis stories. For those of you who don't know who Dustin Davis is and what is the reason for this video series, basically Dustin Davis was a huge staple in the KDM community. He was the owner and operator of 3.8 Performance along with uh, his wife, uh, Trisha Davis, and um, <clears> he <throat> left behind his, uh, his two sons, Dylan and Dustin Jr. But uh, we want to try to uh, make sure this video series is something to keep his memory alive. Um, for you guys who just barely watched this video and new to my channel, um, make sure you go back and check out any of the mod videos. Most of the mod videos done to this car was done by him at his shop, um, done by him and his garage, and he helped me a lot with the build for this car to bring it to where it is right now. So um, not only was he <clears throat> was awesome with that, but he was a good friend of mine too, a caring person. He was just all around a good man. So. I'm keeping his legacy alive telling these stories. So go back and watch the first uh, story if you've not seen that. That's more of a um, introduction to how we met. And um, yes, you guys definitely will enjoy that one. <laughs> so we're gonna try to keep these positive and everything like that, but uh, it is at a somber note, understand that. Um, so this video is gonna be focusing on the people he impacted in the community and them telling um, a little bit about him. So them just sharing their, their kind words. Um, this, some of this was taken right after his passing, so understand that uh, some of it is on a somber note, but I want to share these stories with the world and everybody to know what, how much of a great man he was and also the people didn't know him. <clears throat> and the main thing is his sons, I want his, his two boys to be able to look back at these videos and smile a little on a bad day and just remember you know they came from um a man that was great and they were raised by a man that was great so with that being said um i will share a little bit more at the end of the video how you guys can incorporate your stories and whatnot into this video series because i do want um some of the other episodes to have this format where we have some of you guys out there in the community share your stories with him and I will share that at the end of the video, how you can <clears throat> communicate with me and I can share some of your Dustin Davis stories so that this has become something that is a norm on the channel and it just keeps going and going as long as you guys uh, keep <clears throat> co cooperating and, and sharing your story. So we're going to jump into it and uh, pretty much the footage says it for itself. So let's jump into it and get started. My name is Kyle Jones, uh, known as Cruisin' by Design, and uh, I've known Dustin for about three, three and a half years now, um, and only known him as the, the kindest person for no reason. Uh, always there to help you um, answer questions, and people like myself, before I was helping other people, you know, always asking questions, and he's always there to help, even though he's not very good at getting messages back to you sometimes. Um, and, uh, and then even when I started trying to do my own business, he was there to give me information, give me ability to buy parts through him. Um, you know, trading, trading work because I didn't have the money, but you know, we both trying to help each other out. Um, and uh, not just knowledgeable, not just like a, a good man's man, but he's the nicest person uh, that you would not even meet. Sometimes people that have never met him know him as a, a great person because of that. And uh, he'll he'll leave a legacy behind due to that reason, um, not just to be, you know, the Genesis guy or what 3.8 performance guy or whatever it is. It's because he was a good person, and and there aren't a lot of those people around these these days. So uh, we all appreciate him for that reason and many more. But uh, he'll be sadly missed and never forgotten. Okay, so I'm uh, Jose Martinez. Uh, known Dustin for or knew Dustin for a while now. Um, 
awesome guy. I remember him always as somebody who's willing to help out. Um, helped me design a few things for myself too that I needed. Um, just wealth of knowledge, awesome guy, and just super helpful. Hey, my name is Zach, and this is my 2015 Genesis Coupe. Um, Dustin Davis was an amazing man. Dustin Davis helped me out in so many ways. And um, I had his manifold riser, engine leash, throttle controller, and actually went to him for tuning on E85. So, amazing man, and we're gonna miss you, Dustin. Um, my name is Arturo Jimenez, and uh, well, I, I knew Dustin for like, well, t like for a while. He was a good man. It, when I found out that I, that happened, I was shocked. I, I didn't, I didn't believe it. But if it wasn't for him, my car wouldn't be as fast as it is. Oh yeah, it's, he was. Like he, I, I remember messaging him, and he told me what to do. He showed me the steps, and like. You know, I never thought he would be so helpful, you know, a guy owning a, a big shop, you know, to take his time to answer every message I had. I felt like I annoyed him yeah. messaging yeah, him, yeah, but, him but he always, uh, he always resp responded when he had the time. And like, uh, like, I'm glad uh, I'm glad I met him on the tuning event. That was, he was a cool guy. He'll be missed. He did a lot for the for the 3.8 community. Um, uh, just let's just keep his legacy alive, you know. Uh, my name is Jesse. I yeah. drive a 2010 Genesis Coupe 2.0 Turbo, and uh, glad to say I had the experience to meet Dustin Davis. I mean, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, gladly, I was able to get tuned by Dustin. Great experience right off the bat. I mean, he was very communicative. You know, really wanted to work with me and my car. It wasn't all about the money. It wasn't about him doing, you know, what he wanted to do. He was listening to my input and kind of trying to guide me in the right direction, which I really appreciated, you know, coming from past experiences with other mechanics, other tuners. Um, he was just willing to go above and beyond for whatever it is I wanted with my vehicle, which I think is really special in not only a person, but a mechanic. And in all honesty, he will be missed. I'm glad I got to meet him, and his legacy will live on, no matter what. Through us, through his family, through these gens here, it's forever. All right, so that was that. Um, I want to thank every single one of my friends and, and, and subscribers and everybody, um, friends of his and everything for sharing. It was very difficult. There were a couple people that I wanted to share, and they weren't ready, and I completely understand that. Um, the heart heals different for everybody and um, I still I will never heal from something like this as, as much as I know that uh, his wife Trisha will never heal uh, completely but um, like I always say I will always be there for her I will always be there for those boys and uh, if they're watching this video just know I'm here and, and <clears throat> this is what I can do for now and I have a lot more plan to keep his legacy alive and you guys already know it so how can you guys take part and um, actually share some of your stuff so the first thing you can do is if you live out here in southern california <clears throat> you can feel free to message me and um you can always meet me at one of the uh, events that i'm at one of the car shows one of the um car meets or whatnot and just tap me on the shoulder and say hey kevin i got some uh some uh, dustin davis story for you so and i will actually film it on the spot and um share it with the world and and make it part of keeping his legacy alive if you guys want to basically be part of that feel free to let me know feel free to message me on instagram kev 2 um <clears throat> i will i would do private shoots meaning you guys hit me up and i meet you somewhere but it depends on my schedule i can't go one by one it's not easier to meet people at one location meaning a car meet a car show or whatnot and then um I could have multiple people kind of incorporate their stories and whatnot. And if you don't live out in Southern California and you don't feel like traveling 2,000 plus miles, you know, to share like uh, two minutes of footage, I understand. So what you can do is you can film something yourself with your cell phone. Just make sure it's in the wide angle, not like like the way you would share it on Instagram stories when the phone's like this. Just turn the phone like this 
and film yourself or have somebody film you. Make sure the auto and the video quality is acceptable because if it's extremely blurry or the audio quality is just pretty much you can't hear it or it's off or whatever, it's going to make it difficult. And I would hate to tell you that I can't use that footage because um, you can't hear or you can't see. Um, just make sure the audio and the video quality is good. Uh, communicate with me on Instagram. At that point, I will shoot you my email address and you can email it to me. Um, and I will share it on the channel. Dude, that's how much I really care for keeping this man's legacy alive. I want everybody to share their stories. And like I said, I have a lot more planned in the future um, and whatnot. And <clears throat> one thing I can share before I go is um, basically after we met, this is kind of the next little piece. I got a message on, on Facebook Messenger <coughs> saying that he was going to be doing a upper and lower um, ported manifold install on uh, Richard A's car. And Richard A is also a good friend of mine that um, I built a friendship with him be before I met Dustin Davis or I think around the time I did or whatever or whatnot. He was another Genesis Coop um, person that was a staple in the community and he had the storm triple gen this was one of the first iterations of it and i met him at a car show when i was just like blown away by his car and whatnot and this was around the time that i was making the decision to start a youtube channel um at this particular car show that i met him and his car was one of the many people many genesis coops that inspired me to actually start the channel dude so knowing that i would be able to film his car also which i did and i did a little my first little exclusive or whatever you want to call it showcase or whatever he was the one who inspired genesis coop bill breakdown years before i actually came up with the idea to name it genesis coop bill breakdown so he was the first man so richard if you're watching dude hey i'm lucky to have a friend like you and i'm glad we still communicate we still communicate um his car went through many different iterations and then he sold it so back to the story as i kind of go off on a tangent i do that sometimes but it's fun i'm having a good time so i <clears throat> got a message from dustin davis saying that he was going to be doing an up and over manifold stall install on richard's car and if i would like to film it more than welcome to come through and i'm like oh awesome he was like i thought this would be good content for your channel so this man went out of his way messaged me to add me to the equation to oh hey i thought maybe he want to film this plus it was something where <clears throat> he felt that me filming it would actually help <clears throat> him also because he didn't have time to um add videos to his youtube channel he actually had a youtube channel i'm gonna put it right here three point performance on youtube he doesn't have a whole lot of videos but he has informative ones and his setup quality was awesome but yeah so he thought it would be awesome for the channel and everything like that so he invited me and i drove down to richards and the rest is history and once i filmed that one video i was just like oh my god oh my god i have so much editing to do <laughs> no but beyond that beyond that i was like dude this dude is so knowledgeable oh my goodness gracious dude so you know it just it just did the, the the infatuation with his knowledge just grew tenfold once i filmed that video so you guys got to check it out um he was sweating bullets too it was hot that day he was burning up but he was dedicated he went out of his way for a friend and basically he was cool enough to drive all the way down the hill to where my homie uh richard was staying at that time where he was staying um to he went out of his way to go do the install at the person's house so the dude didn't even have to move his car that's the type of person he was so um, did a lot of R&D research and development for all these parts and everything like that. But I can go on and on. Dude, you guys go ahead and check out the videos if you haven't already. But, yeah, that's that's going to do it for episode two of Dustin Davis Stories. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope we put a smile on your, on your face as far as remembering his legacy because that's what I'm here for. Uh, put a smile on my face just laughing, thinking about all the good times. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Just remember, as I say at the end of all my videos, always see the glasses half full and half, half empty. Stay blessed, stay safe, and remember, legends live forever. Rest easy, Dustin Davis. Rest easy, my friend. Peace.